What is up? Tyler here, TarverCademy.com. Y'all ready to learn some math? Let's subscribe first. Go ahead and subscribe. You did? You did? You did? My man, or woman, whatever, I don't know. Um, shall we learn? What is the x coordinate? That looks like it's probably spelled wrong. Where the lines y equals negative 2x plus 7 and y equals 3x minus 3 intersect. Okay, so we're talking about systems of linear equations. You don't know what that means, it sounds complicated, it's okay, just try something, see if you figure it out. Ready, go. All right, so let's work this together and see if you got the uh, correct answer. And you're like, that's not a lot of time, you're supposed to pause it. Come on, you know the routine. Uh, what's the x-coordinate where the lines of that and that intersect? This is called systems of linear equations, okay? So um, essentially what you're doing is these are two lines. These are the formulas for two different lines and they're going to be on like a core. This is a coordinate plane. This is your x axis and your y axis. And these lines are going to be somewhere on here. Okay. We want to know where is that spot? I can't, I don't have three hands. Where's that spot where they cross? What's that coordinate? And we don't even want the whole coordinate. We just want the x coordinate. So out of this x, y, we just care about the x. That's all we care about right now. So there are a couple ways to do it. I think I've got a lot of videos on this. Um, you know, um, you can solve it through substitution or elimination, um, kind of whatever you want. Uh, on this one, we're going to use substitution, and I'm going to tell you why. Y equals this. Y equals this. We want to know where the Y's are going to be the exact same, because we also want to know where the X's are the exact same. So we can set these two. We can substitute one of the in one of the equations. We can substitute what Y is equal to. For y, it's, it's anything with substitution. You substitute what it's equal to. Y in this equation is saying it's equal to two, negative 2x plus 7. So I can substitute that for y here. So I'm going to put two, negative 2x plus 7. I'm plugging it into this equation. So I just do equals 3x minus 3. Then we're just going to solve the equation. That's it. You can forget about all this. Just solve for x. All right, and I always like to get the x's on the same side, the numbers on the same side, and then we'll do our last move right there. I always say get the negatives over there, that way you can stay positive. So we're gonna do negative two x and three x. I'm gonna get the negative two x. I'm gonna get rid of it, so that way I can get rid of my negatives. So opposite of minusing two x is we add two x to both sides. That cancels out, that's a seven. Three x plus two x is five x minus three. Now I'm gonna get my numbers over here. The opposite of minusing three is Adding 3, it cancels out. 7 plus 3 is 10. 5x. Last step, it's don't subtract 5. That's where people mess up. It's 5 times x. So what's the opposite of multiplying? Dividing. So I'm going to divide by 5. That cancels out. 10 divided by 5 is 2. And you are done. Maybe. Let's read the question. What is the x coordinate? Did we find what the x coordinate is? Yes, it's 2. Most of the time, they're going to want to find you that, like, they're going to want you to find the x and the y. All you'd have to do is take that 2 and plug it into either equation for x, substitute it in there, and then solve it. So, like, you'd plug it in for that, it'd be 3 times 2 is 6, minus 3 is 3. So, our, actually, our y is 3. So, if you had to find the whole thing, sorry, it'd be 2, 3. All right? That's it. You can type in your graphing calculator. If you go into your uh, points plotting on a TI-80 something, you can type those equations in and you should see that they intersect right there. So thank you guys for sticking with me. Hope you learned something. Always be learning. Have a great day. That's all.